I am already way over time on stream, but I just have to look at Ibuki as well. I'm too excited. Whoa, that Kira Kira on those eyes. I see it. They really widened up. Move move out of the way, say Shonagon. Okay. I mean, I, to be honest, I for the record, I already really like the look of Azencia 1. And again, this is coming from someone who doesn't even really like OG Ibuki. I never really saw anything in her. And again, feel free to call me out on that. I know a lot of people like her. I don't know what it is about it. The, the, the summer version, just to be, looks already like 10 times better. Even just Ascension 1 alone. But anyway, uh, let's take a look at the second Ascension. Because I'm already liking 1, so... Alright. Here we go. Is that a cheerleader outfit? <laughs> wow. Oh my... Oh, she even has knee socks. Oh, I'm weak. I'm weak. I'm down bad. I'm so down bad. I can't deal with it, man. I can't. God damn it. Okay, that looks nice, though. That, I mean, come on. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Yeah, and there's fishnets on uh, below as well. Oh, my. You, you, you're, you're doing me in is what you're doing. Whoa, did he just cool me a little bit? Anyway, I said should three. Please don't bring the lowly here. Just keep it to her, <laughs> please. <laughs> I don't want to see it. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Crisis averted, okay. Well, what the hell is this now? So what is this supposed to be now? A magic bazooka? Does anyone else get time money vibes? I was just about to say. <laughs> dude, dude, Raita. Oh my god. Dude, it's fucking time on in. Oh my god. I can respect that though. That's pretty good culture. Okay, I, I'll leave it at that. Google at your own discretion, okay? All right. The FA. Do we get a nice summer FA again? And it's a five star this time, unlike Proto Berlin, who didn't have a summer FA. <laughs> what is that? Dude, it got immediately blocked, but oh my god, are you kidding me? I should have expected something like this because it's right of all people, but come on. <laughs> what? That phase though as well. Okay, okay. Can I even post this part on YouTube? Oh my god. But the one, I mean, one is still very nice too, I have to say. But I, I mean, I have to go with two. It's just, it, it pushes a lot of my buttons, namely in the, you know, mm, lower body department. It's just, oof, come on, dude. Aesthetically, I'm actually fairly pleased. Again, as someone who never really even liked OG Ibuki that much, I am, I've been converted. It's official. I, I like her now. So there you go. So, let's take a look at the passives. Whoa, it's only a madness in Hasmini, but she's, wait, she's arts based, right? That much I know, yes. Arts, MP, and the dick is double buster, double arts, so it's the Vlad dick. So it's not maybe a huge deal if she only has a madness in Hasmini. But then, wait for it, you still have the OG Ibuki passive, I assume, which is buster up as well, and a damage cut. Is this the same rank? Did OG have EX as well? I assume she did. So that's a 12% buster up and a 200 damage cut. Really, really good, okay? That is strong. That is a top passive in the game. Probably top 10 in the entire game. So yeah, amazing. Now, her version of Divinity, because it's actually somewhat useful, because again, Divinity is just boring flat damage, which doesn't really do anything. She still even has a higher number of 250, but again, it's not really going to do anything. But hey, her version also has 20% buff removal resistance. That's nice. So that's it for the passives. But honestly, it doesn't have to be flashy. Those are just working passives. So obviously it would have been nice to see an artsy passive, but apparently she's broken anyway. So, you know, what do I know? Anyway... Let's get to the MP. Ooh, I'm so excited. Oh, it removes debuffs or bu defensive buffs. Oh, okay. So, oh, she removes defensive buffs before damage. Oh, it's one of these. Oh, it's one of these. Oh, it's oh, nice, nice. Okay. So before damage, removes defensive buffs. Great start. Amazing utility every time. Just amazing. And then, oh, another Earth Attribute Damage mod, which scales with OC. Mmm, okay. And then also afflicts enemies crit 
chance down for three it's crit chance you guys know me i loved it <laughs> okay now let's see some numbers okay Dude, what the hell this mp is stacked flat 20 percent crit chance down for three turns and especially this mp is supposedly spammable that's nuts that's are you knocking futs like oh my god the enemy is never gonna crit just from her MPs alone. 150% earth damage on base OC, which is standard. But honestly, again, earth attribute, while well, last time I said it was the most common one, is not man is the most common attribute. Earth is the second most common. So still, solid, solid damage mod. Okay. So man, the MP alone effects wise, especially because apparently it's spammable, ridiculous. And I can see why it's spammable because apparently it's five hits. Five hits on an arts AOE MP, we eating good. Okay, that's nuts. That's absolutely ridiculous. So the MP alone is EX tier. Can't wait to see the rest. And speaking of which, let's look at the skills. Because man, this servant looks insane. I'm trying not to get too excited, but I can't help it. We have a sword icon. Do like me some swords. All allies attack up three turns. Critical damage up three turns. That's also for all allies. All allies. And then all allies that are summer servants get MP gain up for three turns. And I assume that also that has to apply to herself because it doesn't say it doesn't. Okay. Six turn cooldown. Let's look at the numbers. 20% um, AOE attack up. 30% AOE crit damage. And then for summer servants, including herself, 30% MP gain. Oh, wow. Wait, already 30% MP gain with a five hitter arts AOE MP? Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm starting to see it. Oh, um, yeah, that's pretty good. It's not a broken skill by itself, but I'm starting to see like all of this like just becoming like a big mass of just stupid stuff. Okay. All right. We got red and blue and blue, obviously very good as well. Okay. Oh, it's a targeted one. Target gets uh, three turns of arts up and buster up and uh, reduce cooldowns by one. Oh, cooldown reduction too, huh? Targeted. Hmm. Nice utility. S uh, six turn cooldown. 30% for both colors. Again, not broken, but again, it's just like all the stuff that she wants to have anyway. So th I think this is going to be one of those cases. Well, the MPSI, which I think is insane. So at least so far, the skills, there's nothing broken, but it all like, Gow. it's just going to be such a nice, amazing Gow. package to make a lot of sense. Yeah. And then, oh, it's a battery icon and it's a third skill. Ooh, 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 I'm so excited. Self battery. And then every st uh, turn gets stars for three turns. And then star absorbed for self for three turns. So she has crit potential too. It is a six turn cooldown. Is this a 50% battery? It is. It is. It is. It is. It is 50%. And 10 stars per turn. And 5,000% absorb. A very key, it's four digits. Because again, she's a berserker. But with this, she can definitely crit. Has to be four digits on a berserker. Okay. Man. Jesus Christ is all I'm going to say. This looks like an insane package, is what it is. And again, she's a berserker, so the value is crazy. Uh, and now I'm gonna take, because apparently Jordanian updated the MP damage sheet list, so I'm gonna take a look at that now, blind. I haven't seen any numbers yet, so this is also exciting. So, I'm seeing very similar numbers to Musashi on the same double cast Doria setup, huh? That's interesting. Uh, uh, this is pretty cool, though, because apparently she works with cast Doria Shufu as well. So she's probably even more free-to-play friendly than Musashi is. And it works on Berserker too? Wow, you, you know the refund is legit when that works, huh? Okay. So let's not jump the gun. Musashi, Zerk, still really good. But man, those are some legit numbers. I can already tell, right? She has to be a top-tier farmer, right? She has to be. Like, it's at this point, it's obvious. Dude, summer servants, man. Like last year we got summer comma as well. Like they just they they go shit they go crazy with this. So yeah, man, this banner though, first of all, they did justice to Ares, which I'm happy about. She looks to be a very strong single target um, Avenger DPS. And then now this Ibuki Summer looks like an insane arts looper. Wow, just mind blowing. Like this banner for the this is for you gameplay rollers out there, for those that care. I would not recommend drawing for gameplay, but yeah, this would be that banner, I suppose. So yeah, um, I guess I'm not disappointed. So if you enjoyed this first impressions video as well, do me a solid and press the thumbs up button. Again, no idea which order all these videos from this stream today will be out for the God channel, both of these first impressions. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it anyway. And stay tuned again, there's the Scotty banner still. We are not even close to being done with Summer 7, so... 
I'm excited and hope you guys are as well. So stay tuned, have a great rest of your day, and otherwise, a peace out.